Hey, eating single family, Gail here. Just wanted to drop in and say, first of all, Happy New Year. We're in 2020, so let's see if hindsight is going to work for us going forward. Prosperity, love, and blessings to everyone. I wanted to share something with you that uh, I posted the other day about my bread. I made bread at, in a bread maker, and I want to give a shout out to Cuisinart. Okay, I had been researching bread makers for a while because years ago I had one and I loved it. And I decided uh, since I still have the gluten sensitivity, let's see if I can make my own bread and what would come of that. So instead of buying a whole bread maker, I decided to start scouring the uh, thrift stores to see who would have one. Because a lot of times I get lucky with appliances and the first bread maker I got actually was a gift from someone who'd gotten an extra bread maker for a housewarming gift. I don't know what kind of friends y'all have that they're like going to get bread makers and things like that. But uh, apparently I need to bump up my game, my friend game in 2020 because a, a whole bread maker. One that got great reviews was the Cuisinart Confection Bread Maker. And of course, I, I priced it on Amazon. Yes, I'm frugal like that. I have a budget. And I went through the whole gamut of looking at the bread makers. And this one got some really great reviews. So this is the bread maker that I got. Now, of course, coming from a thrift store, you have to assume something's going to be wrong with it. And of course, something was wrong with it. It had everything but... The measuring cup, because you can go online, go to the Cuisinart page, they'll show you the manual and everything that's supposed to come with the product. So there was supposed to be a measuring cup and a measuring spoon. I got measuring cups and measuring spoons, so I didn't have to worry about that. It was supposed to come with the, the basket right there, so it had the basket, but it didn't have the paddle in there. The paddle is what stirs the bread products. So, of course, I went to their page and guess what you can order from their page? And I haven't done dishes yet, so it probably still has bread residue on it. You can go on their page and get the paddle, which you put in there and it fits. Let's see if I can do this and keep you all on there. It fits right on there. Okay, so, all right. So, paddle issue solved. Measuring cup, measuring spoon, issue solved. So of course I start making the bread. Sounds weird. Like, okay, so what's going on here? I let it go through the entire cycle. The paddle portion doesn't work. It doesn't, it doesn't do the steering. St steering, Ian, if you're watching this, leave me alone about my diction. Okay, so it does not stir the bread which is more than likely why they got rid of it. And then I started thinking, okay, does anything else work on this thing? Because that's not a deal breaker. If the bread products, if, if the ingredients just need to be stirred, I acquired the entire Ninja dealie from my dad last year. Or was it the year before? Who knows? But I got this and guess what it has on it? A dough setting so <laughs> it's not like the dough didn't get stirred so I decided to see if it would bake it bakes and what it baked what came of the baking is this bread do you see how spongy that is it is so light and fluffy and it, the crust is firm it's not hard it's actually firm it cuts very well, and unfortunately, another thing I discovered, the paddle got stuck. That's why it has that indentation on it. So the paddle got stuck in there. Still not a deal breaker, because it also makes wonderful looking toast. Look at that. So it's not so moist that it's just falling apart when I cut it. It's moist enough that it makes it delicious. I've only had... Um, uh, peanut butter and jelly on it, which is really good. I got the recipe for the whole wheat honey bread. Pretty much gluten, fr uh, not gluten free. Well, yeah, gluten free according to how I mixed it and vegan because it didn't call for milk or eggs. So I think $4 for the bread maker, $9 for the paddle. Um, 
it's well worth it. I'm going to keep it until things change. Uh, like I decide to upgrade it and want one that's going to have all the gadgets with the Wi-Fi and all of that. I don't even know if they have one with the, the Wi-Fi attachment, but everything is coming with a, a Wi-Fi Bluetooth attachment. Now you can turn your stove on and see what's in your refrigerator. Don't know if I want that yet, but, uh, and <laughs> since I don't have a job, we know I'm not getting it this week. Therefore, I'm going to continue to utilize this Cuisinart. And bravo to everyone out there who gave it rave reviews on Amazon because it has great reviews for the product itself uh, and the, the brand. I'm not really into brands, no offense to anyone out there, but if I see that it's getting incredible reviews and people are being very specific about what happens with it, then I'll, I'll check into it. Now, if you are not into thrift store shopping, a word of encouragement had I purchased a Cuisinart and it didn't work, then I'd be angry because I, like some people on the um, reviews, they went and bought brand new bread makers and things happened. They didn't work the way they thought they would. And they were angry because they had to return it. And then they wanted to research some more. This is a way to research. If you're not into thrift stores, if you just want to research something, see how it works, see how it feels, see if it's actually what you want, check out the thrift stores in your surrounding area um, for appliances and gadgets. They will let you turn them on in the store. At least the majority of the ones I go to will allow you to plug it in. Of course, they're not going to let you come in with all the ingredients to make bread and make bread in the store, but you can turn it on to see if it actually has power to it and cycle through whatever the issues are. What people are getting rid of this holiday season, I've seen, I think everyone has tossed their Keurig. So if you had a need or wanted a Keurig, uh, check your thrift store because you could probably get one for five bucks or less if you go on a Monday or Thursday, which is half price day. And with the Keurigs, everyone is in an uproar. They're, they're dirty, they don't stay clean. Get some white vinegar and run it through the thing as we did hundreds of years before my existence. That is how you get, get the bacteria and, and clean through those filters in things like Keurigs as well as your coffee pot. Unless, of course, you do a percolator or you have a press or, you know, those other gadgets, which I oddly have almost all of them. Okay, so I just wanted to give you that in the event you want to start your your research or just becoming more thrifty in 2020. Um, who knows? I hope it works out for you. I hope you're going to have a fantastic 2020. I know I am. I know I am because it's it's only up from where I'm standing right now. It's only up. But Happy New Year, make it a great one, and I'll see you in somebody's restaurant or possibly an Uber one day later.